to Midday Kentucky. We are in the kitchen with Miss Allison Davis. And what do you have on the plate for us today? Oh, Ms. that's Allison? cute. Um, so I'm doing a tuna salad, but kind of a play on a tuna salad. All okay. this week we're kind of talking about just simple recipes, some of which are just no cook, just easy that you can whip awesome. together and you're like good it. to go. All yeah? right, cool. So this is um, starting out with some chickpeas. So in addition to the tuna, we've got extra protein from our chickpeas, and okay. I'm just using a masher just to kind of mash them up just a little bit okay. so that it'll help also to kind of serve as like a binder because we're not putting like any mayonnaise or mm -hmm. um, anything in this. And these were just canned chickpeas? Yeah, canned chickpeas or garbanzo beans, just okay. kind of a rough mash. Okay. Um, and then we've got a couple of just some fresh raw vegetables going in, a little bit of red onion. Okay. If you want to hold that up there. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we've got some red and green bell peppers. Looks pretty. <laughs> yeah, um, I think w we made a similar version of this salad actually not um, too long ago. That was just a chickpea salad. So okay. this one's a little bit of a variation. I'm going to take a little bit of celery and add that in because I just love celery in any of my tuna salads. Yes. You could also go with pickles, which I'm a fan of as well. Mm -hmm. So just like chop up some pickles that you've oh, got sitting gotcha. in the fridge. Yeah. And then we're going to add some herbs to this as well. So it's going to take on a little bit of that, I guess you would call like a Greek flavor or Mediterranean okay. with um, the combination of some fresh mint nice, and some parsley. I think even dill would be nice because it's such a good pairing with seafood. Uh huh. So we could kind of go with a lot of different options here, but the mint, I think, is really going to give it a pop. And the other thing with this, especially talking about those Greek flavors, mm -hmm. is we've got some nice feta. Nice. And if you would, this is just a block of feta. I actually like mm -hmm. buying the block better than the crumbled. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just think it has more moisture and it's just fresher. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to crumble some of that feta in there if okay. you're okay with that. And I've got some paper towels here. Awesome. I love feta cheese. Can you substitute the feta for anything else? What would, if you did? What would you recommend? Yeah, you could probably use like a goat cheese mm -hmm. um, or even like Parmesan, but you want something that's going to help balance and give you that saltiness. Okay. All right. So I'm going to chop up a little bit of parsley. We're going to season this up with some salt and pepper, and then um, we've little got our more. tuna to add into that. Yeah, little just more. a little more, baby. Great. And so the nice thing, again, is this is just kind of one of those quick, like if you've got the kids home from school, you've got mm -hmm. soccer, you've got this, you've got that, piano, who knows. You can fix this up very quickly, have these little tuna wraps, mm -hmm. have some fresh fruit or something, and you're good to go. Yum. So we're going to add our tuna in. And easy, too. Very I mean. easy, yes. And that's kind of the name of the game this week, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're that's what we're we need. into a routine. We're back in school. Yeah, we're into a routine, but we need to, you know, uh, find ways to make it work. Gotcha. So the last little thing besides salt and pepper is I'm going to bring a little bit of, you know, just some fresh lemon, and yeah. that really just kind of brightens it all up. It looks so pretty. I love it. All right, and so in, um, you know how I mentioned we don't have mayonnaise in this, right? Right. But the feta really works to kind of make it nice and creamy. So once you start kind of working that together and letting this sit, mm -hmm. um, you really don't need any mayonnaise in this. Wow. But if you prefer, you can add a little bit if you want it just to kind of hold together and bind that together. But I right. just think that's gorgeous. And it's look beautiful. at how I much that makes. I mean, you can feed a family of six it, easy. You know, with this easy. Easy. All right, love you want to try it? I yeah. do. Are you a tuna salad fan? I am. I love tuna salad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll get a spoon here, and uh, we'll see what we got there. And All right. That's it. Let's and give instead it a shot. of doing it on um, sandwiches, I've got it here um, with some lettuce wraps. So Ooh. that would be kind of the way I would go. Oh, is a... just to kind of take a little lettuce, put it okay. in there, and you have some nice little lettuce cups. And this is so delicious. It's yeah. so fresh and in five minutes. Yeah, you know, so it's that easy. It might be ten when you figure in your prep time as far as just cutting some vegetables. But even now, sometimes you can find them already chopped and ready to go in the grocery store. Exactly, so. easy like that. Well, if you want the information about this recipe or many other recipes, go to our website at wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. Make sure you click on the recipes tab, or you can head over to Allison's website at wildtimecooking.com, and we will be right back right after this short break.